Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Exercise 1. Snapshot. Entertainment guide. Entertainment to have fun. Fun things to do in New Orleans. What are fun things to do in New Orleans? There are different things. 1. You can go to a jazz club. Go to jazz club. T of D. Go to. Look at the picture here. A musical party. A concert. Some musicians. They play music. Two. Look at the picture. You see a ship. A very big boat. This is a river boat. You can take a river boat tour. A river boat. A large passenger boat. A large passenger boat that travels on a river. Three. Look at the picture. What's this? This is a streetcar. In New Orleans, you can ride in a streetcar. A streetcar, a passenger train that goes along city streets. A passenger train that goes along city streets. This is a streetcar. Picture 4, you see here a carriage, a horse. Yeah, so this is, this place is old place. Visit a historic home. You can visit an old home. Finally, you can go to a food festival. A festival? A festival for eating foods. For eating new meals. A festival of cooking. Which activities have you done? Check through the activities you would like to try. I'd like to try different things. I want to take a riverboat tour and ride in a streetcar. Exercise number two. Look at the back. Young man, young lady, the young lady is drinking. Maybe she's drinking tea. They're talking. They're very happy. Here, this is, what's this? Carriage. Carriage. It's not a car, it's a carriage. It's bold by horse. A horse bold the carriage. Someone plays music. Musician. Someone plays music. Here's a musician. Two, conversation. A visit to New Orleans. New Orleans, what sound? Listen and practice. Let's start to listen. Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Page 64. Exercise 2. Conversation. A visit to New Orleans. Part A. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. In this exercise, Jan and Todd are talking. Has Todd been New Orleans for a long time? 
No, just a few days. He's really excited to be here. Excited, happy. He's very happy to be in New Orleans. Has Todd been to jazz club? Yes, he has. He has already been to one. A boat that travels in a river. Todd has already done that too. Todd has ridden a river boat. Has Todd ridden a street car? A street car is a tram. The tram? Not a train, it's a tram. Tram, yes. Uh, it's very old and it goes slowly. So the tourist can see a lot of sightseeings. The tourist can see different places inside this tram. Has Todd ridden in a streetcar? Yes, he has. Is Todd tired? Yes. His feet are killing him. His feet are killing him. His feet are really hurt. Number B. What do they plan to do tomorrow? Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? So, let's just stay here and relax. I know you're tired. Thanks, Jan. But we can plan something for tomorrow. Great! Have you been to the zoo? No, I haven't. But I've heard it's good. Let's go there in the afternoon. Okay. Say, have you been to the French market? I'd love to go there, too. Actually, I've never been there. You're kidding! And how many years have you lived in New Orleans? We have to go there. Listen again. So, let's just stay here and relax. I know you're tired. Thanks, Jan. But we can plan something for tomorrow. Great! Have you been to the zoo? No, I haven't. But I've heard it's good. Let's go there in the afternoon. Okay. Say, have you been to the French market? I'd love to go there, too. Actually, I've never been there. You're kidding! And how many years have you lived in New Orleans? We have to go there. What do they plan to do? Tomorrow, they plan to visit the zoo. They plan to visit the zoo in the afternoon. Then, they are going to the French market. The French market is very famous in New Orleans. Page 65. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Present perfect. Already? Yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not.
the present perfect the present perfect for has have plus pp let's check this powerpoint presentation the present perfect What's the present perfect? Why do we use it? The present perfect between past, past, and present. Use usage. The present perfect tense refers to an action that happened in the past, but is related to the present. So here, Action happened in the past, but still has an effect in the present. This is the present perfect, between the past and the present. The present perfect tense. We use the present perfect tense to talk about experience in our lives. Example, I've already been to Paris. Already, L silent, Ben, British Bean. He has learned French for two years. Formation, how can I form the present perfect? How can I make a sentence in the present perfect? You have recently gone to Paris. He has already traveled to New York. She has just eaten all the food. Eaten American tea soft tea. We have eaten pizza since 2005. Pizza, but this word Italian word. The pronunciation pizza. They have started for five hours. So, how can we form the present perfect? You have here what? Have gone has traveled, has eaten, have eaten, have studied. And we have words recently, already, just, since, for. So here, the formation again. He, she, it, has. They, we, you, I, have, plus past participle, plus PP. What's the past participle? So I say, he has, she has, it has, plus PP. They have, we have, you have, I have, plus PP. This is the formation. What's past participle? What's past participle? Past participle. Present, past, past participle. Eat, present, past, eat. Past participle, eaten. See, so, seen. Past participle, seen. Meet, met, met. Drank, Drank, drunk. Fly, flew, flown. Make, made, made. Take, took, taken. Drive, drove, driving. The past participle here, eaten, seen, met, drunk, flown, made, taken, driving. Negation. Negation, negative, negative, to say no. How can I say no? You have not gone to Paris. He has not traveled to New York. Negative, has, have, not, plus pp. Have, has, not, gone, traveled. Has, have, not, plus
plus past participle. Past participle PP. What are the key words? He has been here since two o'clock. They have not visited us for two years. He has never done that. I've already explained this. She has not worked at each year yet. The key words already, never, ever, yet, since, for, since, for, never, already, not yet, yet, in negative sentence, not yet. These are key words or time expressions, time expressions. Yes, no questions. Have you packed everything? No, I haven't. Haven't you ever flown before? No, I've never been at an airplane. Have you packed everything? Packed to put things into a bag. To put things in a bag. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, what, what sound? No, what? No, I haven't. So, this is the question. And here, yes, no questions. Have you? Plus packed, PP. Haven't you ever flown? PP. Have you packed everything? Have, subject, PP. No, I haven't. What sound? No, why? Because O ends with O and the first word starts with I, vowel. No, I have. No, I. The present perfect. The present perfect tense. Has he been to London? Yes, he has. Have they been to London? Yes, they have. So, here, again, the formation of the question, how to make a question. Has he, has he, has she, has it, have they, have we, have you, have I, plus past participle. Answer, yes or no. Double H questions. How long have you lived in Egypt? I have lived in Egypt for three years. Where has he lived? He has lived in Cairo since 2013. In WH questions, we don't say yes or no. You have to answer. Like, where? Cairo. How long? Three years. We we'll start with question word. What? Where? How? When? Like how long? Where? Plus has or have? Has, have, plus subject. Subject. Has, he, she, it. Have, we, you, they, I. Plus pp, past participle. Exercise number A. How many times have you done these things in the past week? Write your answers, then compare with a partner. Clean the house. Clean, cleaned, cleaned. I've cleaned the house once this week. I haven't cleaned the house this week. So you make a sentence, make, past, made, pp, made. 
I've made my bed. I have just made my bed. Cook. Cooked, cooked. I've already cooked dinner. I've already cooked dinner. Do, dead, done. I haven't done the laundry yet. I haven't done laundry yet. Wash, washed, washed. My brother has washed the dishes. Go, went, gone. My mother has gone grocery shopping. B. Exercise B. Complete these conversations using the present perfect, then practice the partner. One minute, try to answer. One, A. Have you done much exercise this week? The verb do, did, pp, past participle, done. Have you done? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have already. I have already been to aerobics class four times. B. Yes, I've already been to aerobics class four times. Have been. Exercise number two. Play. Have you played in sports this month? No, I haven't. No, I haven't had the time. No, I haven't had the time. Here you say, no, I haven't, I haven't had the time. Short answer, no, I haven't had the time. Verb to have, past, had, pp, had. No, I haven't had the time. To, have, played, haven't had. Three. How many movies have you been to this month? How many movies have you been to this month? Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Three, have, been, haven't seen. Four, have you been to any interesting parties recently? Recently, just, nearly. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? No. No, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. No, I haven't gone. Four answers. Have. Been. Haven't gone. Five. Have you called any friends today? Have you called any friends today? Yes, I have. Yes, I've already made three calls. Yes, I've already made three calls. Already. L silent. Have called. The answers have called. Have made. Six. 
how many times have you gone out to eat this week? I've eaten at fast food restaurants a couple of times. A couple of times, a couple. A couple of times, two times. Six. Have. Gone. Have eaten. Eaten or eaten. American eaten. T soft D. Page 66. Exercise 4. Conversation. Actually, I have. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Exercise 4. Conversation. Actually, I have. Who are talking? Peter and Mandy. A young man and a young lady. Where are they? They are in the street, in this street, in this street you have cafe room, karaoke, the Inca trial, sakura, sakura, Japanese food. In this street we have a lot of restaurants. Let's read this conversation. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Only for a few minutes for a short time. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Moroccan food, food related to Morocco. Morocco country. No, I haven't. Is it good? Is the Moroccan food good? It's delicious. Delicious. It has a very good, wonderful taste. It has a delicious taste. I have had it several times. Had it. Link had and it had it I've had it I've had it several times how about Thai food Thai food food from Thailand Thai Thailand have you ever had green curry green curry name of food green curry a kind of dish a kind of food actually I have I lived in Thailand as a teenager I ate it a lot there. I ate it. T soft D. Between A, you have here the sound of I, and it. I ate it. I ate it a lot there. Peter, I didn't know. I didn't know that. No, case silent. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Now, let's answer some questions about this conversation. Has Mandy been there for a long time? No. Only a few minutes. Has Mandy chosen a restaurant? Has she chosen a restaurant yet? No, she can't decide. Has Peter, has Peter eaten Moroccan food? Has he eaten Moroccan food? No, he hasn't. Is the Moroccan food delicious? Yes, it's very delicious. Has Mandy eaten Thailand food, Thai food? Has she eaten green curry? Yes, she had.
She has eaten green green curry different times in Thailand because she lived in Thailand as a teenager. How long did she live in Thailand? She lived there for two years. She lived in Thailand for two years. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When do they decide to have dinner? Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do they decide to have dinner? So what about dinner? I'm hungry. Have you tried Sakura? They have excellent sushi. Actually, I had Japanese food for lunch. Well, should we have Italian food? Cafe Roma is a great place, and it isn't far. That's fine with me. I love Italian food. Listen again. Decide to have dinner. So what about dinner? I'm hungry. Have you tried Sakura? They have excellent sushi. Actually, I had Japanese food for lunch. Well, should we have Italian food? Cafe Roma is a great place, and it isn't far. That's fine with me. I love Italian food. B. Where do they decide to have dinner? They decide to have dinner. They decide to have dinner in in Cafe Roma. They decided to have Italian food. Why? Because Cafe Roma is not far. It's near from here. And the Italian food is great. What about Sakura? Sakura restaurant. Sakura restaurant offers and serves Japanese food. They serve sushi. Sushi, raw fish. It's a Japanese food. A very famous Japanese food. Sushi. Exercise 5. Grammar Focus. Page 66. Exercise 5. Grammar Focus. Present Perfect versus Simple Past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Exercise number five. In this exercise, of the present perfect versus again the simple past. We use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. For general, I talk from birth until now. We use the simple past for a specific event in the past, certain time in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. Eat it. No, I haven't. What sound? No, I. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. I tried it. Da and vowel. Sound of D, da sound plus I. I tried it several years ago. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Let's check this PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Present perfect versus simple past. Have you ever plus PP past parsable? The time here is general. The question is general. Have you ever, have you ever eaten sushi? 
Have you ever eaten kushari? That means from birth, from birth until now. In all your life. Have you ever plus pp? Have you ever eaten sushi in all your life? So the time here is general. No certain time, not specific. Have you ever visited Paris? Have you ever visited Paris? The time here from birth until now. Say B. Yes, I have. Yesterday, I ate kushari at a Tahrir restaurant. Yes, I have. Yes, I have eaten kushari. Last week, my mother cooked kushari for me. Last month, my mother cooked kushari. Have you ever visited Paris? Yes, I have. A year ago, I visited Paris. In the past, I visited Paris. In 2000, I visited Paris. So in this question, you ask a question. Have you ever plus PP? General question. Here, general, no certain time. From birth until now. In all your life. In the answer, you say, yes, I have. Short answer. Then, you say, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, in the past, in 2000, I plus verb with D, E, D, I E D verb in the simple past. This is the simple past. Verb plus D E D I E D. Now let's answer A. Complete these conversations. Use the present perfect and simple past of the verbs given in short answers. Then practice with a partner. 1. Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Have sung. 1B. Yes, I have. I sang in one on my birthday. Have sang. Number one answers have sung B have sang Number two Have you ever lost something valuable? No I haven't but my brother lost his camera on a trip once two have Lost. Haven't. Lost. Three. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? A traffic ticket, a fine, because you park your car in the wrong place. Yes, I have. Once I got a ticket and had a, to pay fifty dollars. Once. Once I got a ticket and had to pay fifty dollars British got American got and the T between two vowels will be softy once I got a I got a ticket and had to pay fifty dollars three again have you ever gotten a traffic ticket yes I have once I got a ticket once I got a ticket and had to pay fifty dollars Four. Have you ever seen a live concert? Have you ever seen a live concert? Have seen. B. Yes, I have. I saw you two at the stadium last year. Concert, a musical party. Live, 
happening now or face to face you two this is name of name of band a group of musicians called you two four answers have seen have so exercise five number five have you ever been have you ever been late for an for important appointment have you ever been late for an important appointment no I haven't but my sister was 30 minutes late for her wedding wedding marriage party my sister was 30 minutes late for her marriage party Thanks God. That's the end of unit 10 part 1. Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? 1. Exercise 1. On the rakam have a rakam in exercise. ونحن أهم حاجة نحط الكلمة في جملة ونحفظ الكلمة بالإنجليش مش بالعربي. إن إن موضوعنا أن أحفظ الكلمة بالعربي والترجمة كلمة بكلمة دي ملغية في أوروبا قلنا في طرق التربوي من أكثر من مئتين سنة إن الصح لا تعلم الإنجليش بالإنجليش فأسمع كتير وأكرر وأحط الكلمة في جملة واستخدمها ما حفظش الكلمة لوحدة بكرر تين one a karaoke bar a place where people sing along with recorded popular music so what's a karaoke bar? A place where people sing along with recorded popular music. Popular, popular music, famous music. Live concert. A concert is happening now. Concert, a musical party. Live concert, a musical party that's happening now. Exercise two. I can't wait to. I'm excited about. I'm looking forward to. Two. I can't wait to. I'm excited about. I'm looking forward to. Said O silent. And here the stress on the bass sound on B. River boat. A large passenger boat that travels on a river. A large passenger boat that travels on a river. Street car. Passenger train that goes along city streets. City, T sub D. Tram. Street car, tram. Take it easy. Take it easy, T sub D. Take it easy, relax. Take it easy, relax. My feet are killing me. My feet really hurt. My feet really hurt. 4. Morocco. Related to Morocco. Morocco, country. Morocco, a country near Spain. Morocco, country near Spain. Green curry. A kind of food. An Indian dish. Five, traffic ticket. A fine if you park your car in the wrong place. A fine if you park your car in the wrong place. Stadium, land with seats for sports events. Stadium, land for sports events. Elementary school. Elementary school, primary school, elementary school, primary school. School for children between 5 and 11 years old. School for children between 5 and 11 years old. High school, high school, a school in the U.S. for children 
aged from 14 to 18 years old. High school, secondary school. In American, secondary, like primary, primary, primary school, secondary school. Prep school, junior high school. Junior high school, prep school. Junior high school, a school in the USA for teenagers. From 11 to 14 years old. Goat, an animal which is related to sheep. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.